How's it going guys? I realized today I've been model railroading for 23 years and a few years ago I got back into model railroading seriously and I realized model railroading and the market of model railroading has gone way up. It's expensive to buy locomotives, buy rolling stock, everything has skyrocketed. But there's one train market that has stayed steady, hasn't moved, in my opinion, since the late 1990s. That's right, since the 1990s, this market has stayed the same, and it's a great deal. I think you're gonna wanna hear more about it. That's coming up right now on Creative Rails. Okay, welcome back guys. First of all, I want to say welcome to my man cave. What's happening here is I normally shoot in my basement. I have a small studio set up down there, but right now I'm renovating it. I'm framing and drywalling. I'm building a home theater and I'm also building the space for my new layout. I'll be updating you on that very soon. So before we get into things, first things first, if you are new to the channel, please go up and hit that subscribe button. Also, while you're at it, if you like what you're seeing, please hit the like button. And while you're also at that, if you don't mind, hit that bell icon so you can be notified of when my new videos are coming out. So let's get into it. The market that I'm talking about is the railroad antique and collectible market. That's right. I've been in and out of model railroading for 23 years. Uh, 23 years being serious about it and the one thing that hasn't changed since I was a little kid seems like the antique market things are still the same price as they were back in the 90s let's begin first thing I'm talking about I've got an old railroad lantern right here CNR it's labeled right on it I don't know if you can see it on there but these run for around $100. They go, you know, relatively $100 to $125. I recently purchased one for $60, but that one was painted and I bought it at an antique store and they obviously knew uh, that the original patina was gone and they knew the market value of it. But yeah, those back in the 90s cost that, they still cost that now. Uh, another thing I picked up was this kerosene can. And again, it says right on there, it's stamped CNR. You probably can't see it. But I bought this off eBay, I believe, for, I think it was 20 bucks, something like that, and it was $10 to ship, so it was something like $30, $40 to get it shipped. There's some crazy deals. Now, where can you go to get these deals? First of all, I'd say eBay. Second, I would say uh, websites like Kijiji and Craigslist. I personally don't use Craigslist, I'm not familiar with it, but I've got a lot of really good deals on Kijiji. Um, but the best deals that I've got so far are on the Facebook marketplace. We'll talk a little bit more about that in a little bit. Something else that I've been collecting is paperwork. Now, to me, this stuff is priceless. I've, I picked up this old Canadian National Railways booklet. It's um, basically a general instructions booklet of doing brake testing and maintenance. This dates back to 1958. There wouldn't be a lot of these left. I think I paid 10 bucks for that. I got another book here. Now this is really cool. It's the National Transcontinental Railway Eastern Division General Instructions to Civil Engineers Concerning Surveys and Constructions. Construction, sorry. But the cool thing about this book, it's dated 1905. That's older than my grandfather. He's no longer with us. 
this is this is priceless I paid I believe ten dollars for this other things that I collect I like collecting paperwork I've got old waybills I got this waybill that is from the Newfoundland Railway this is dated 1944 seven dollars for that this is one of my most prized possessions this is an original timetable booklet from the subdivision where I'm from and the subdivision that I'm going to be modeling. This is the Palmerston sub subdivision. Well, it's called the London and Stratford, but it covers the uh, Palmerston branches and I'm gonna be modeling the Owen Sound main yard and a little bit of trackage uh, just south of there. So this dates back to 1958. And the cool thing is, I model 1957. I'll talk about that more uh, in some further episodes, but again, to me, priceless. Really hard to find. I think I paid $20 for this, and that included shipping. That was on eBay. Um, another piece of hardware, CNR lock, and it also has the original key with it. Got a really good deal for that. I paid a little more for this. I believe around $50 on eBay. Now, I was talking a little bit earlier about antique stores. Antique stores, you have to be careful because they are right at market value, normally anyways, which is still good because I just said, you know, it seems to be below market value because nothing's gone up. You consider the, the the cost of wages going up, the cost of housing going up. This is the only thing that stayed still. It seems like nobody's really interested anymore. So I'd say take advantage of it. So the one antique store, I was talking with this lantern, I did bring it out, I thought I left it, but it's this guy here. And it's got the red globe. And the only reason it was cheaper, and they were fair with this, they charged 60 bucks for this, because it's painted. Remember that, don't ever, if you get antiques, don't restore them. Don't paint them, leave the original patina. Um, but still, I think it's a beautiful piece. It says CNR as well on it. It's got the red globe, which is a little more rare. Uh, really cool find. That same day when I was in those antique stores, I was really hunting for some grade crossing signals and I found some in the basement of an antique store. They had a sign on them that said $125. But the problem is they were down in the basement, they were all covered in mold and dirtiness and I wasn't sure if they could be restored. So when I talked to the woman about them, uh, I was hoping that it was 125 for the pair. Turned out it wasn't, it was, 100, it was 125 each, so 250. She didn't want to barter with me, so I didn't purchase them. I was really disappointed, went out for lunch that afternoon with my wife and daughter and went on Kijiji and found some in London. Now here's a little tip for you. Even if it seems um, unrealistic to get something, give it a shot, just give it a shot. This has happened to me several times. The um, roll top desk that you guys saw in my video a little while ago, I made an offer by accident on, on that and got it for half off. I wasn't even making an offer, I was just saying really, this is all I can pay for this and they accepted it. So what happened was, this guy, I live uh, just east of Toronto, these um, grade crossing lights were on Kijiji in London. So all I did, I contacted him, I said they're a great deal, he only wanted $75 for the two of them, um, but can you ship them? And he said, you know, obviously they're way too big to ship, but I go to Mississauga three times a week. So sure enough, I made a little trip over to Mississauga and picked them up and here's one of them right here. $75 for two of these on Kijiji. You can imagine how excited I was. Now, the last thing I'm going to show you is uh, something that came off of Facebook Marketplace. I had no idea this even existed. It was my friend at work, he was actually buying uh, sea dues and he's looking at boats and, and golf clubs and he introduced it to me so I just randomly decided to search uh, railroad and sure enough all kinds of things came up the best thing that came up was this deal that I got here I got a really old I didn't bring it out it's a really old I believe a New York Central lantern even older than these old Piper ones 
with a red globe. $100 it said, but it also came with this, and I'm gonna show it to you here right now. It came with this old semaphore. Here, this is one of my most prized possessions right now. I asked him, I said, are you sure? You only want $100 for both of these? He said, absolutely. It was my father's and he got it from an old railroad man. He wasn't even sure where it came from. I'm guessing it's from the New York Central because that's where the lantern came from, but I'm not 100%. If you guys could comment if anybody has any idea where the, what railroad this is from, uh, that would be great. But there it is, beautiful semi four. Now something like this, that's priceless. That belongs in a museum. I'm gonna keep it, of course, for, for now. But something like that, I, I if I had the money, I'd pay thousands of dollars for that. I got that and the lantern for a hundred dollars. So get out there, guys. Get out there. Go to antique stores, go on Kijiji, go on Facebook, check out eBay, check out some antiques for your railroad, your favorite railroad. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. We will be talking to you soon. Take care. Good night.